As a young machinist, I can't tell you how many times I've heard an older machinist reference how many years of experience they have during a discussion about machining. I've been a machinist for 25 years. I don't care what this kid thinks. It's almost as if they believe that since they've been machining for a certain number of years, that they are right by default. So why do we place so much value on how many years of experience someone has and less value on what the person actually knows and what they can do? Maybe the guy with 30 years of experience has been doing things the same way for his entire career, running the same machines, making the same parts, and he doesn't realize that there might be a better way to do things. There have been numerous times I've gone to a more experienced machinist with an idea, and the discussion usually goes something like this. Hey, what do you think about trying out this new cutter or this new toolpath? No, that won't work. Well, have you ever tried it? No, but I've been doing this longer than you've been alive, so I know it won't work. I'd walk away from the discussion thinking, what does how long I've been alive have to do with anything? If you're afraid to try something different because a less experienced machinist had the idea so they couldn't possibly know what they're talking about, you will eventually miss out on an opportunity to try something that could elevate your shop's performance because you let your pride get in the way of trying something new. Now, I've also been in situations where I might have a solution to a programming problem, and when I ask some more experienced machinists if they'd like some help, they usually don't accept it because they don't want to look bad by having a less experienced guy show them something they don't know. I'm sure you can imagine how that can affect the shop's performance. At the end of the day, why does it matter who has the answer as long as the problem's getting solved? If you think about it, employers use this same mentality to make hiring decisions, promotion decisions, and even to negotiate salary. They often think if you don't have, say for example, five or more years of experience, then you can't possibly do the job. They might even come to that conclusion before talking to you at all. Or if they do hire you, they might try to pay you less money simply based on years of experience. Barry told me about an interview that he was in where the guy told him that he was flat out lying about his abilities because there's no way someone that young can do all the things his resume says he can do. But what was he basing that accusation off of? Barry's age? Was he even listening to what he was saying during the interview? Maybe he should have put Barry's knowledge to the test instead of writing him off simply because of his age. Now don't get me wrong, learning things and becoming an expert at your craft can take time, but people learn things at different speeds. What might take one person five or ten years to learn, someone else might pick up in two or three years. But in a lot of cases, the person with five years will be more likely to get hired and get paid more money. Employers should be looking for quality people. Passion, work ethic, intelligence, and character are all traits I would value over someone with a resume that says they've been at it for 20 years but is burnt out and has no passion to continue learning and getting better. I just recently heard a story about a guy who was working as a D-Bird tech, and he very badly wanted to become a machinist, but the company he worked for kept hiring guys who already had experience instead of giving him a chance. He decided to learn on his own and would even clock out after his day shift was over and stick around to watch a second shift machinist and learn from them. Fast forward a short two years later, and he was working as a five-axis programmer. That is a quality person that loves what they do and is willing to continually learn and get better. I'm not saying experience doesn't matter, but there are a lot of factors that go into doing a good job and being a good employee, and placing experience above everything isn't always the best approach. What you can do and the problems you can solve will always be your best asset. I was always told that you can learn something from everyone in the shop, and if you're speaking, you're only repeating things you already know. If you stop and listen, you might learn something new. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to see epic daily machining videos. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.